Good morning, friends. My name is Ina Irby. I'm not a life coach. I'm not a therapist. I'm a mom. Courage to change, February 14th. Confusion can be a gift from God. Looking back on instances when I felt desperately in need of an immediate solution, I can see that often I wasn't ready to act. When I became fully ready, the information I needed was there for the taking. When I know too much about my options before the time is right to exercise those options, I tend to use the information only to drive myself crazy. That's why today, when I am feeling confused, I try to consider it grace. It may not be time for me to act. I think that dealing with confusion can be like cooking. If the bread isn't done, I don't take it out of the oven and insist that it's time to eat. I let it finish baking. If a clear solution to a problem hasn't shown itself yet, I can trust that it will appear when the time is right. Today's reminder, I will thank my higher power for whatever I experience today, even if I feel troubled or confused. I know that every experience can offer me a gift. All I have to do is be willing to look at my situation in the light of gratitude. The quote is from Helen Keller. Quote, everything has its wonders, even darkness and silence. And I learn, whatever state I may be in, therein to be content. I'll read that again. Everything has its wonders, even darkness and silence. And I learn, whatever state I may be in, therein to be content. Helen Keller, Courage to Change. Affirmations for the Inner Child, February 14th. Valentine's Day. I am open to giving and receiving love. On this Valentine's Day, I celebrate my ability to love myself and others in a balanced relationship of give and take. I let go of the heartaches of addictive relationships. I am no longer prey to being a victim, quote, shot with the arrow of love, end quote. I no longer need to, quote, fall in love, end quote. I can be in love with my feet firmly planted on the ground and my arms around my lover. I can grow into love with the emotions of an adult and the excitement of a child. Today, I rejoice in my ability to love myself unconditionally and with respect. In doing so, I have more of myself available to love others. I'll read that last part again. In doing so, I have more of myself available to love others. I hope this helps you on your healing journey. Follow your bliss and be good humans.